Welcome to this brief tutorial on using Microsoft's PowerPoint uh, for Macintosh uh, 2008 to create a, uh, a poster. So the first thing I've done is create a new document in PowerPoint and obviously it just gives me the, sort of the default settings for a slide. So what I want to do is actually go to File, Page Setup, and change this so that I'll have an 11 by 17 poster. When I have the page, uh, actually the page setup size established, I hit OK. PowerPoint's going to give me a warning that basically the uh, paper size is at odds with the size of the um, slide that I've just created. But this is not a major problem. This is something that we'll fix in just a few minutes. For now, though, I just want to click on OK. So I want to make just a couple of very crude uh, design elements here. And that includes a title. Let's call this the Great Poster. And I'm going to change the background, format background, make this uh, background, let's make it um, a, a lilac color, apply. And now basically I have, again, sort of a very crude, mocked up sort of poster space. What I want to do next is go back to File, Page Setup. And again, in Page Setup, I already have this uh, slide designed to be 11 by 17, but I have to tell PowerPoint that I want the paper to be that same size. So I'm going to go to Options. And under Page Setup, again, instead of US letter, I want to actually introduce a custom size. So probably your uh, custom page sizes will be blank. If you want to create a new one, you click on the plus sign here. And you don't need to give it a special name. But you do need to change these settings. So the width, again, is 11 height is 17 and what I want to do next is actually zero out all of these printer margins. Now when all of those are zeroed out I can click on OK. OK again and for a third time right now I'm able to actually output this as a PDF. So, so the next step then is to go to File Print. The preview thumbnail gives me a sense of what the poster will look like when it renders in this vertical orientation. And click on this PDF button here, Save as PDF, and it gives me a chance to save this to my desktop, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Now, the next step, just to verify that the PDF is the right size, is to actually open the PDF using Adobe Reader. And I've done that. It gives me a feel, it gives me a feel for sort of the vertical orientation. But as a final check, I actually want to go into Adobe Reader under File and check the properties. And so when I open these properties, I can see, actually, I can verify that the page size is 11 by 17. As long as the PDF shows that page size of 11 by 17, that means that I'm ready to carry it into a printer and uh, have them print it out on a PDF, or actually onto a, a, a page size that will actually match with the PDF size. So that is to say we're good to go. Basically, you can carry that PDF on a thumb, dri a thumb drive or jump drive into a uh, Halley library. Uh, the printing center is on the basement level, and uh, they can produce an 11 by 17 poster for you, full color for 20 cents.